day 15 november 15 so this is the continuation okay um for the 33 days of consecration to saint uh, joseph head of the holy family pray for us Jesus and Mary not only bent their wills to Joseph, for he was head of the Holy Family, but they lovingly surrendered their hearts to him as well. That is from St. Peter Julian Amard. Today, calling a man the head of the family is frowned upon. God is not worried about political correctness. However, he established the family and designated that fathers be the heads of their families. Now, this doesn't mean that men are better than women. The greatest human person who ever lived was not a man but woman mary the mother of god jesus a divine person jesus and mary both delighted in the headship of saint joseph in their home why are many people offended by such terminology today sadly it often stems stems from having been emotionally physically or sexually abused by a father figure such abuse breaks the heart of god Yet the crisis in manhood can be corrected if, if men begin to imitate St. Joseph. His fatherly example shows that strength, authority, and headships are meant to be at the same, at the service of others. In Joseph, heads of the household are blessed with an unsurpassed model of fatherly watchfulness and care. That is from Pope Leo XIII. Husband and fathers need to imitate St. Joseph. Families around the world will, will experience a revolution of holiness of, if husbands imitate St. Joseph. Important passages in the New Testament will no longer be seen as offensive but life-giving. Be subordinate to one another out of the reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of his wife, Jesus Christ is head of the church. He himself the savior of the body, as the church is subordinated to Christ. So wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her. To sanctify her. Cleansing her by the bath of water with the world, that he might pre um, present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle, or, or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined mystery, be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the church. In any case, each one of you should love his wife as himself, and the wife should respect her husband. That's from Ephesians 5, verse 22 to 33. Make St. Joseph the spiritual head of your family. Obtain a statue or a beautiful image of St. Joseph for your home. Place it in a prominent lo location and frequently invoke the intercession of St. Joseph as a family. You will see the difference of St. Joseph makes. Dear brothers and sisters, the sacrament which unites you to each other unites you in Christ. It unites you with Christ. This mystery is a profound one, Ephesians 5 verse 32. He comes to you in present in your midst and dwells in your souls, in your famil uh, families, in your homes. St. Joseph was well aware of this for the reason he did not uh, hesitate to entrust himself and his family to God. By virtue of this trust, he completely fulfilled his mission entrusted to him by God for the sake of Mary and his son supported by the example protection of St. Joseph.